What's up guys, today we're going to take a look at a Squonk Mod, a very affordable, regulated Squonk Mod, the A-Leader Killer, as you can see right here. So this one, um, it does up to 80 watts single A650 battery, and does TC as well. And most interestingly, it also has a, bi a bypass mode, a bypass mode. It sounds, it sounds too good to be true. Now here's the best, the best part of it. The price, the price is uh, 38 bucks. 38 bucks for a regulated squonk mod resin uh, in many different colors and this is actually the older version as you can see right here uh, full resin body the older version and now they have a newer version with an aluminum alloy body and only the front and back panels uh, resin you can check the link in the description box below now that one the newer ones with the aluminum alloy body uh, that costs about $69, let's say 70 bucks. So this one is about 38 and the newer one, which looks exactly the same, except that the frame is aluminum alloy, that costs 70 bucks. All right, so let's take a look at the A-Leader Killer Squonk Mod. <laughs> So here's the packaging for the LED Killer 80 watts. In the back you have some description about the mod itself. Scratch and check code, QR card scan. And I have no idea what this is. Right. Now that makes more sense on the other side. Components of the Killer 80, 1 Killer 80 watt Squonk box mod, 7ml e-liquid bottle user manual and warranty card. Just pop the box open and you'll find the Killer Squonk mod right away, right there. And here's how it looks like, a quick look. You also get a USB cable, a Killer AD user manual, the A-Leader warranty card, and you also get this, which is an awesome uh, heat insulator. It's like, uh, it sort of like does what the beauty rings do, which is uh, protect the 510 from scratches etc except there's just one small little piece right here and it looks like it's made of Altum you never really be sure now let's just say it's PEI or PEI lookalike material when I got this um, the description said blue and black I think it's pretty accurate although I expected the blue to be a little bit brighter than this the body is resin and it's very smooth to the touch the edges have been contoured a little bit on this side on this side as well basically helps you to wrap your fingers around the mod a little bit easier a USB port right there battery ventilation wattage up wattage down fire button all really nice and clicky and you have your 510 right there spring loaded I would say the spring is about like a medium tension not too stiff not too soft either pop this open you got magnet on all four sides and here, uh, they actually latch on to the screws. I think the screws are probably magnetized. You have a leader right here and your squonk bottle. A ribbon for pulling your battery out. Contacts are spring-loaded at the bottom. Right, let's start with the squonk bottle first, right? It's a 7 mil uh, silicone squonk bottle. Not really the prettiest bottle that I've seen. You can see the seam right there. Uh, and the cap looks kind of hideous as well. Uh, but it works. Messy, messy. Horrible, horrible finishing on this bottle. Uh, I've never really used this bottle to be honest with you. I mean, I just I just took a look at it and I said, ah, like, oh, no way, I got so many other bottles. And bottles really feel a bit flimsy. They should work reasonably well because you do have a silicone that, you know, comes up all the way here. So when you seal it, it should create a good seal. So if I squeeze all the air out and I squeeze the tube, I should not be able to get into the bottle if it's a very very good seal. Right, so it works. Uh, definitely lots of other choices for bottles. And here's the one I like, the SJMY uh, bottle. The inner diameter of the tube is slightly larger than what I use, I'm used to with other Squonk bottles. Uh, but you can get it in there, you can. You just have to be a little bit more patient and maybe just use a tweezer like this to really, you know, push it up. And not that big of a deal. Not that hard to do. Let's put a battery in here. Negative 
to the bottom. It turns on, says A leader right away. The ribbon, I do feel like the ribbon is a little bit uh, too long. Right, kind of sticks out on this side. And if I push it here, you know, it also kind of sticks out on that side. So you can, yeah, just, just push it in there. Uh, but, you know, it just springs back. It's just a small thing. Right, there you go. No big deal. I think the blue bottle really matches uh, this mod. So three clicks to get into the mode. Right, you see power start to blink right there. Then use the wattage up button. And you go to temp control nickel, bypass mode, power. So the buttons on this really have to be clicked. Uh, you really have to click a firm click on this. So when you're in temp control mode, three clicks. And you see temp start to blink. Click one more time firmly and you go to the material type. One more click and you go to system on or off. Right, so you really have to click a firm click right there. And then now you can go to the different type of materials, stainless steel, nickel, and XX. Right, so it's basically nickel and stainless steel. You can control your temperatures. Use the wattage up and wattage down to cycle between Fahrenheit and Celsius up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And then it just goes to Celsius up to 315 degrees Celsius around Robbins to Fahrenheit again. So I'm going to go back to uh, power mode, three clicks. I go back to power, three clicks. Power starts to light up, click one more time. It goes to sys, which is system. And when you press the, uh, it just it just goes out of the the, uh, the selection too fast, okay? Uh, it's just way too fast for me to explain to you. So let me maybe just do it first and then tell you what I just did, okay? Three clicks. One more goes to sys. All right. So why I did was I press the watch down when it's in sys, and that shuts off the mod. One, two, three, four, five. Five clicks, and it turns the mod on again. You see a battery level indication there. A resistance, voltage, amp. Kind of reminds me of like a a, a Yi high or Yi heat chip actually. Now some parts of it reminds me of the Yi heat chip. Some parts of it reminds me of the uh, a DNA chip. Press the watch up and watch down at the same time to lock it and unlock. Alright, let's take the battery out and let's fill the bottle up. Right, these SJMY bottles, you can actually get it for really cheap. And I think they work really, really well. And the size is just perfect for the A leader uh, box mod. Obviously, if you get larger bottles, it's going to be a bit more difficult for you to fit your larger bottles in here. So in my opinion, the SJMY bottles are the perfect, perfect replacement. Push it in there. Let's put the battery back. And let me put an RDA on here. So this is a 24 millimeter flave. And you can see that there is a lot of room right here. So you can go up to 25, I guess. Mm, maybe not. I think with a 24 is just, just nice. With a 25, you will see a slight overhang. It's because of the curves on top. Squonk it. And now it asks me new coil or old coil. I'm going to go with new coil. All right, raise the resistance. 0.28 ohms. Power mode. Let's go down. Start about 45 watts. Now, one thing to note is that when you actually have locked the mod, right? Basically, what you're doing is you're just locking the fire but uh, the wattage up and wattage down button. But the fire button still pretty much works. I have a top cap here with a well, sort of a matching drip tip, right? So this mod also has uh, lots of different protections, right? Uh, it has low voltage protection, overhead protection, short circuit protection, and reverse battery connection protection. So it does say in the manual that it supports uh, nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. And it uses 1 amp charging for the USB port right here. It supports a resistance of 0 0.1 ohm to 3 ohms in regular power mode. In temp control mode, you can do 0 0.05 ohms to 1 ohm in TC. Apparently, it also has uh, TCR values. Uh, but that's really in the menu and you really have to... 
really have to uh, refer to the user manual uh, to actually understand how to do it. If you're vaping in uh, power mode, LG, there should be no problems at all. It works really well. And if you want to use it in TC, it does TC, uh, but it's not going to be exactly like your DNA or Yihi or Yihai uh, chips. I think it's pretty decent. But for me, I'm really interested to use it only in power mode or also in bypass mode. That's the other thing that really interests me, right? So I'm going to go to bypass mode right now. Three clicks. Bypass mode. And just let it select. All right. So in bypass mode. All right. There you go. 0.28 ohms. And it's going to output about 40 watts to start with. I tell you what, I actually prefer it in bypass mode. I feel that like I get a much smoother vape uh, for this RDA in this build at least. Let's get back on top and tell you what I think about the A liter killer. On my Flav uh, 24 with a uh, very nice drip tip. I know you guys will be asking where did I get this drip tip from. I actually got it from fasttag.com. I think you get four drip tips, a honeycomb kind of style. Four random colors. Now that's the only thing. Four random colors. And I think it costs about like five dollars or six dollars and um i love this drip tip because it's actually bulkier so it's it's better when you put it on your lips it's much much better for a squonk type of setup i've used this on my haku as well because the haku has a flat top any rda any cap that has a flat top uh, i think it will look really good anyway so the build i have in here is 0.27 ohms in bypass mode with a freshly charged battery. I love it, man. I love it in bypass mode. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, so it's like, you know, it's not the first board that I've seen with a bypass mode. Uh, but it, it makes sense actually in this Kuang setup because here's the thing sometimes I have lots of RDA So sometimes certain RDAs I do a bill on it that is specific for a mechanical mod because for a mechanical Squonk mod you really have to think about the Ohm's law and the mass of the wire you're using etc While other uh, other RDAs I built it with the intention of using on a regulated Squonk mod, but this right here is the only regulated mod that I have that also has the Mac mod type of mode which is the bypass mode so logically I can use any RDA whether I built the calls for a Mac mod or regulated mod on this one and just uh, switch between the modes right switch between modes and in case it wasn't close uh, close in case it wasn't clear in the close-ups you can uh, lock the device it's five clicks and it says system lock right there. So now the fire button will no longer work, right? Just in case that was not clear. So it's pretty safe. I'm actually dripping on it because there's no more juice in this Kwong bottle and I don't want to fill it up right now. Uh, yeah, so let's get to the pros and cons. It's a relatively unknown company and I don't think, I think many people miss uh, doing a review for this simply because they're not really going out and giving free stuff out to reviewers. I bought this with my own cash uh, and it's it's not really that expensive. It's the 39 bucks. I bought it from fasttech.com. Oh, oh, it's hard to see the colors here, but you have a, a darker one, which is I think a black or gray. And then you have this one, blue resin, and you have a light blue resin. That's on fasttech.com. I'm not sure if there are other colors available on other websites. Uh, but as of today, you can also get, as I said, uh, the newer version with the aluminum alloy body. Otherwise, basically the same specs. 80 watts, single 18, 650 battery, 7 mils of uh, squonk bottle. Squonk bottles also the same. But this time, it looks like they actually have blue bottles like the one that I have in here. Right, pros and cons time. So the price is definitely a pro. The build quality... From what I've been using it so far, it's a pro. Now, it's not going to scratch easily. Maybe the aluminum alloy one, uh, I, I can't speak for that. It's new, you know, uh, so I don't know how the build quality is going to be like. But for a resin mod like this, it's not going to scratch easily. 
Overall, the buttons, the clickiness of the buttons, the tactile feedback, the doors, no play in the doors. It's a pro. The build quality is good. The firmware and the features on this mod is another pro. USB uh, port right here uh, for charging when you need to. It's okay to charge it via the uh, USB cable. It hits pretty fast. No, no delay, no noticeable delay, I would say, even in the uh, bypass mode. And it does temp control as well. So those are all pros for me. The design is another pro for me. I was a bit skeptical when I first took a look at it because uh, you have magnets on this side, but on this side, it's just uh, it's the screws. Uh, but it, it fits in. Perfect fit. No rattle. It can fit a 24mm atomizer. That is another pro. The size for me and the way it feels in my hands is another pro. I think the curved edges here really help a lot. It's not so obvious or loud, but you know, when you think about it, um, those places right there are where you actually exert some pressure when you hold the box mod. So by making it a little bit curved, it actually increases the comfort level of this uh, by, by a lot, I would say, by a lot. The looks are subjective. I like it. For the new one, the buttons are not round. They're more of a hexagon kind of shape. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, just looking at fasttech.com right now. So the only con for uh, the A-Leader Killer Squonk mod, actually, I would say, is the uh, the bottle. The bottle, I'm... It's not that it doesn't work, I just uh, there are so many uh, bottle options right now. And so the SJMY bottle that I got right now uh, in here, you should pick it up. If you want to get this, just get one of those SJMY bottles. Not all types of bottles are going to fit, all right? So there's a 7 mil bottle and there's a, height, uh, there's a height limit there as well. So do not get a like a lost vape kind of bottle. Those bottles are a bit too, too big, too tall. Now the other subjective con I would say, it feels like the squonk hole isn't quite where it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? It's like it should be directly on top of the bottle. Or maybe, hmm, maybe it actually works better this way. I don't know. But it feels like it should the, the, the squonk hole should be a little bit more to this side. It doesn't make any difference in terms of uh, the usability, in terms of using, in terms of performance. It doesn't make any difference. Just one of those nitty gritty things. I mean, you know, listen, sometimes people ask me, why are you so freaking fussy? And I have to be. I have to be. And I have to tell you all the pros and cons that I can think of. Even stuff that seems absolutely ridiculous. It's better I tell you and you decide that uh, I don't give a damn about that. Uh, instead of me not telling you and then you get it and then you think, hey, why didn't he mention this, right? You know what I mean? But overall, it's definitely a winner. For the price, I think uh, I have a hot sick RSQ mod on its way to me. Maybe anytime now, the postman will ring the, the bell and give me the RSQ mod. I've heard lots of good stuff about the RSQ mod. Uh, but at the moment, I think this one, for the price, for 38 bucks, is one of the best regulated squonk mods I have tried, period. Obviously, there's the HCGAR VT75 uh, as well, and that is still a good buy, still one of my top recommended uh, regulated squonk mods. The advantage of that is that you also get an RDA. But that one does not have the bypass mode. If you're, if you're not a fan of bypass mode, you should try it. You should try it. For some builds, uh, it, it's actually better than power mode itself. You get a smoother fit. It's hard to explain. Uh, if, you, if you use mag mods, you'll understand. You, you get a, a much smoother fit. I was in bypass mode, and now let me go to power mode. So it power mode at about 45 watts. The bypass mode for this build I have in here is just a little bit, a little bit uh, smoother. And that actually helps to bring out the flavor as well. Subjective depends on the flavor, blah, blah. I, I don't want to go through that. But, you know, just having the bypass mode actually is, is a good option for you to explore. Definitely more pros 
Then cons on this one, the A-Leader Box Killer. So if you want to check it out, 38 bucks or the new one is $69. Use the link in the description box below and you will not regret it. That's all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Do thumbs up and remember to subscribe. Walkie dokie. No more smokey. Wow, 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 wow,